Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Northern Development Mines. It's been two years since the Liberal government announced a sell-off of the Ontario Northland, jeopardizing a thousand families directly and many others indirectly. A decision made without consultation or any research, and we later found out was going to cost the government over $800 million. Northerners united and forced the government to backtrack. Finally, finally, the government has allowed management and the employees to put together a plan and present it. My question is very simple, a plan that could revitalize the ONTC. My question is very simple. Will you act on that plan? Thank you. I very much appreciate the question. I know uh, what an important issue this is for everyone in northeastern Ontario, and certainly we are very, very uh, proud of the fact that we, we were able to work uh, uh, with people in north, northeastern Ontario, setting up a ministerial advisory committee that's been meeting, quite frankly, for the last year as we look at a different approach to the uh, the ONTC, a transformational one that really is, is much about restructuring alternative service delivery as others. Uh, we are very grateful to have had a, uh, a report submitted by the management unions together. We uh, That was uh, presented to uh, our ministerial advisory committee a couple of weeks ago. We are looking at it very, very seriously. And again, I'm very grateful for the hard work that's gone into that. This is a, an extremely important decision. We're conscious of the uh, of the uncertainty that's been there. I uh, made that clear at our last meeting. And indeed, I, 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 I appreciate all the good work that's been done. And we're looking forward to uh, being able to make some decisions soon. Thank you. Supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. The Minister made a good point about it is causing uncertainty. It's caused uncertainty in the North for two years. And now we're worried at this final juncture that the government might try to sell off part of the ONTC at this late date just to save face. And that would scuttle the plan that was put forward by Northerners to revitalize the company. We need a commitment that the ministry and minister and the premier is truly going to commit to revitalize the ONTC and not try any fast moves to try to save face at this late juncture. Thank you, Minister. Well, again, I, I mean, I, I appreciate the question, and there certainly are no fast moves that are being uh, being made. This has been a, a really important discussion that we've had, and, and if I can be very clear about one thing, the one thing that's been very, very important to us is that any decisions related to the future of the ONTC really, truly are about finding a way to have a sustainable, long-term operation, and that goes for all four of the divisions of the ONTC. So uh, we've we've uh, taken a different approach. Uh, the member is aware of that. Uh, the ministerial advisory committee members made up of uh, certainly municipal leaders, First Nation, Métis Nation, uh, business, industry, have been really, really working hard together. The report uh, that came to us, uh, the combined management unit report, was, was uh, one that we're, we're looking at very, very seriously. But I can assure you that the bottom line really is that we're going to make decisions that are based on a long-term yes, sustainable future for the ONTC, and it, may I say a bright future for the ONTC. Thank yeah. you.